Welcome to Popular Cruising. You're watching a review of the Seaborn Quest. Seaborn's latest ship ahead of the Seaborn Encore and Seaborn Ovation, and the first to feature the delicious cuisine of world-renowned chef Thomas Keller. Accommodations on board the Quest are all suites, beginning with narrow but long ocean view suites. In fact, since cabins take up half the ship's width, all of them are much larger than usual. Like our veranda suite, which unfortunately included very few electrical outlets, save for one here at the small vanity, and another elsewhere at the floor. Nonetheless, suites are fantastic, including this great walk-in closet, and spacious bedroom and living area. Light bed duvets are very comfortable. I only wish the surprisingly stiff mattresses were a bit softer. But we were always pleased to see our teddy bear companions playfully attended to by our great room stewardess. And we definitely enjoyed the dining area for several tasty room service meals. Of course, the veranda itself is another treat for taking in the passing scenery. Back inside, bathrooms feature showers that at first seem very small. But once inside, they actually function larger and feature great fixtures as well. Still, it would be nice to see the showers a little bigger. Across the way are lovely marble-clad his and her sinks, complete with choice of luxurious toiletries, including L'Occitane. And the other corner is an underutilized bathtub that takes up space that we think could be best used for a larger shower. But if you are looking for more space, you can upgrade to a penthouse suite, with a larger handsome living room and separate bedroom. Stepping up in size yet again are the uniquely curved owner suites, with great forward-facing views to match, where lovers of luxurious whirlpools can enjoy a winter garden suite, where a bath can be drawn inside. But for the creme de la creme of experiences, there's this signature suite, with the most private room of all. As for activities, our cold weather itinerary did not feature it, but there's no denying that the marina on board is a distinct feature, for conveniently accommodating all sorts of water sports. Elsewhere, the atrium is the hub of the ship. A striking double helix staircase that extends from the restaurant below. To all suites and public venues above. That are crowned by a very chic skylight. Just off from which is the spa at Seaborn. with an inviting waterfall entryway. And equally plush treatment rooms. Complete with a great outdoor whirlpool and resting area. At the center of it all are therapeutic loungers. As well as a small knife block pool. Obligatory steam rooms and showers are also available. As are dry saunas in the changing rooms. There's also a scenic motion studio. And a fitness center on the other side. And of course there's a salon to round out beauty treatments. But our favorite venue on board is always the Observation Bar. For uninterrupted views from the front of the ship, there's no better place to be. It's even a place to get away for some piano tunes. And while we would prefer that the inside space goes all the way to the edge, the surrounding deck space is great for that purpose instead. Additionally, the Sun Terrace and the Retreat just above are perfect deck spaces and brighter conditions. For Sun Worshippers, 
as well as golfers. Meanwhile, the pool deck is another great outdoor escape. Even if it's the heated whirlpools that are more inviting during weather like this. Either way, the premium teak wood makes for an excellent outdoor deck area. And when it's open, the bow whirlpool is at a prime location which is great for even more sunbathing. It's also nice to take a stroll on the teak decking of the promenade deck. As it leads to yet another wonderful pool and set of whirlpools at the stern. Which nicely includes shaded areas for those who prefer. And just inside is the club. A multi-purpose social gathering space and nightclub. Complete with a side stage for live music and a drink bar. Across the way is the ship's casino. With a small but serviceable amount of table games and slot machines past one of the ship's signature Hublot clocks, beautiful elevator lobby, central atrium, and interesting sculpture, are several functioning meeting rooms available for use. And for traditional board games and card play, there's the card room. Plenty of tables and seats for all gamers. And on the other side are a series of retail shops to enjoy. Selling the finer things as well as logo items. And also cookbooks from featured chef Thomas Keller. Showcasing the best use of the ship's space yet is Seaborn Square, which is equal parts reception area and comfortable lounge. Featuring an outdoor wraparound deck area, as well as several internet stations back inside. And guest relations is cleverly situated in the center of it all. The entire area is even serviced by an excellent coffee bar that also dishes up tempting pastries and ice creams, which is a perfect lead-in for the ship's overall dining, beginning with the restaurant in its dramatic entry corridor. Remarkable for a ship of its smaller size, the main dining room is quite spacious, especially with its high vaulted ceilings. But of course it's the cuisine that most shines here. Like this black truffle risotto and soft boiled egg. Beef Wellington serves surf and turf style. And a perfectly baked souffle for dessert. Not to mention exquisite featured courses from Thomas Keller. Showcased every other night like this grilled calotte of prime beef. Or a sweet chocolate covered creamsicle. Oh and Seaborn quite regularly serves caviar with all the fixings. And even its room service is a nice change of pace, including classics like shrimp cocktail, Caesar salad, a club sandwich, and strawberry cheesecake. As for watering holes besides those already mentioned, there's also the Sky Bar. as well as the patio bar, servicing the patio grill across the way. Where items include delicious made-to-order pizzas, and even Thomas Keller's take on a hamburger, which was actually my least favorite of his, 
as well as his hot dog, which was much better. Meanwhile, the buffet on board is the Colonnade. With equally great food and friendly service. And dishes can either be enjoyed inside or outside along the back and side patios. And for dinner here, full service meals may include Asian cuisine, such as savory lobster tempura and teppanyaki style beef tenderloin. Thomas Keller family style meals are even served here twice a week, like his excellent hickory smoked barbecue ribs, an interlude of incredible Humboldt fog cheese, or chocolate silk pie to finish. But for the best Thomas Keller cuisine in a timeless venue suited to a black and white introduction, you need only head to The Grill by Thomas Keller, a complimentary specialty restaurant requiring only a reservation and an empty stomach ready to receive the best meal I've ever had, starting immediately with decadent brioche rolls, then moving to the likes of a Maryland-style jumbo lump crab cake, a daily special of applewood smoked salmon tartare, true ribeye of Snake River Farms beef, the most succulent lobster thermidor, and desserts as decadent as the bread before. Seaborn is not necessarily known for its entertainment, but a number of shows are still presented by a great cruise director in the Grand Salon. Cabaret acts may include a jazz musician who is a better instrumentalist than vocalist, a comedian that we honestly found to be not very funny. Or a world-class magician that well that made up for the other two. With astounding card tricks. Also better than the first two are production singers and dancers backed by a live band. Performers who are seen here channeling Michael Jackson. Throughout the cruise, their sound mix and vocals definitely improved. And some of them even got to show off their instrumental chops as well. Besides some light dancing in addition to singing. All in all, for shows that weren't quite as lavish, they were still very good. And the best performance was reserved for a night of country music and rock and roll. Including another singer again on an instrument of acoustic guitar. Their final show was indeed a fun send-off. Thanks for watching! Please feel free to subscribe to our channel, watch our other videos, and visit popularcruising.com.